Hi, welcome to the second part of the multibody housing in Autodesk Fusion 360. I want to do the interior. So let's move this bar before the Boolean operation. Okay, and let's hide the bodies but show the planes okay i need a sketch right on this plane and this might look more or less something like It doesn't really matter, it's just an exercise, so you could use different dimensions, of course. Okay, now let's project those elements which I need. I need this one, that one and that one. make this one collinear that one and this one give it some dimensions this could be 28 This might be twenty two. This might be let's say twenty seven or twenty six. This could be let's say ten, ten, this might be eight, this might be 15 that distance might be 10 this could be 8 and this might be Eight and let's change this to four. Okay, stop the sketch, make a revolve, make sure it's a new body with that sketch. Axis should be this line, new body confirm. That's one next sketch on that plane now I would need to project this plane that plane yeah that's it then draw something like this okay now make the 
this one, collinear, and that one. And I'll give it some dimensions. This could be, let's say, 40. This might be 8. And that might be 15. And this might be be 18. Okay, stop sketch, make another revolve. Nope. Revolve. Oh yeah, I see. Let's delete this one. And I need a revolve with that sketch. Axis is this line. Make a new body. Confirm. And another sketch on that plane. And I would need projection of this plane, that plane, and this plane. Yeah. And this might look something like Okay, now let's align this one, that one, and this one as well. Add some dimensions. This could be thirty one. This might be twenty six. This could be fifteen. This could be fifteen, and that one might be. Eighteen, and then add another dimension right here. Fifteen, and twenty. This could be four. That might be eight. And okay, stop sketch. Make another revolve with that sketch. Use that line as axis. Make sure it's a new body and confirm. Now let's add some fillets. Modify fillet this one and that one could be two. This one might be five and this 
this one and that one might be two okay let's show all bodies and rename these that's right interior this one is center interior and that's left interior now let's move the, this ones up and now Ah, seems I forgot something to save right here. So maybe, just maybe, go there and add something to the center one. So let's hide these. Uh, no, not this one. The center exterior. And make a sketch right there. This should be a rectangle. And I would need projections of this one, that one. So maybe hide it. And I could go for this one as well. Align. like this and give it a dimension and this could be 28 okay stop sketch now let's show Centex and merge this new revolve with that body that's the profile that's the axis right there. And don't cut, but join it to this one. And confirm. Now let's move this up. So this should be redo redo now move this i wanted to move that one okay and now i could cut with these three bodies let's make them this visible and you could go for visual style yeah wireframe For example, now let's go back to shaded and now I want to remove these three bodies from that one. So go for combine where is combine? there it is and i want not to join but i want to cut and the target body is the center x and i want to remove the right the center the left confirm yeah now let's hide the planes for a moment or oh. oh let's wait I want now to move this once up, so I got those fillets back, and add some camphers. Um, camphor equal distance, yes. There should be one. Um, 
really? Another camphor. Right there, which should be one as well. And I want to add this one. That one. And that one. Confirm. And I need a hole right there. Therefore, I would need, of course, a point. So let's go for a sketch on that plane. And I need a point. Maybe right there. And this one should be aligned with that plane. So make it coincident. Okay. And the distance should be 36 as far as I remember. From here to that one or to that plane or that point. So I would need that plane as well. That's the origin. That's the that's the one. No, that's the one. Just hide the bodies for a moment. I need that plane right here projected. Okay, and I could remove this projection. And the distance should be 36. Stop sketch. Maybe it show the bodies. Let's go for a hole. Okay, the simple one, yes, that's the point. And diameter should be six, and the depth should be, let's say, fifteen. Confirm. Now let's make a pattern. A circular one, circular pattern. Not faces, but features, and the feature would be. that hole which should be somewhere I want to pattern this one axis would be this and I need six not I need six and that's okay so confirm now let's try to mirror this Create mirror. Again, I want to mirror features. I want to mirror the hole and the pattern. And the mirror plane should be this one. And confirm. And I think I'm done. So, hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see more, give it a like. Leave a nice comment. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.